Did you know that patient visits to doctor's offices have declined by nearly 50% since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic? But there is still a high need for care due to the pandemic. This means that patients and physicians are turning to telehealth options. The American Medical Association has cited telemedicine and telehealth as essential to stopping the spread of COVID-19. They have also released guidelines for healthcare organizations that are new to this practice. When taking patient care online, it's important to know how you will gather patient consent with any telemedicine services. Today, we'll be talking about what you need to know to get valid patient consent online. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Let's jump right into it. Before getting patient consent, you should know the requirements of your state and the requirements of your payer. In some states, you don't need to obtain patient consent and others accept verbal consent, but some require that the patient signs a consent form and that you store it in their patient records. Check with your local jurisdiction to figure out what you need to do. Having written consent could also be necessary to get reimbursed for telehealth services. There are some insurance providers that will require you to obtain written consent from your patient. This is a condition of payment for your services. But if you don't know, get consent in writing just in case. So, how do you go about getting written consent? It can be challenging to exchange sensitive documents between care providers and patients. For instance, what if you email a PDF form for your patient to print out, scan, and email back, but your patient doesn't have access to a printer or scanner? This could also lead to a security issue since you're using email to send confidential information. The easiest way to get patient consent online is by creating a consent form with a provider like JotForm. This will allow your patient to fill out their information, electronically sign the form, and send it back to you securely, even if they are using a mobile device. Now, what does getting consent entail? Before creating your consent form, you need to figure out the requirements for the payer and Medicaid. They could have a template for you to download and use for your own consent forms. An online consent form should include everything that your patients would fill out in the office, but it is specific to telemedicine. Here are a few things that you should definitely have on your form. Include information about the patient's rights when they're receiving telehealth services, as well as their right to refuse or stop treatment. Say what the patient's responsibilities are when they are receiving telehealth treatment. Tell them about your formal complaint or grievance process in case ethics or other concerns come up when you're treating the patient in a telemedicine setting. Include details about the potential benefits as well as risks like privacy and security. And tell them about the constraints of telemedicine, like you may be unable to prescribe controlled substances in a telemedicine visit. Communicate the contingency plan in case technical issues prevent you or the patient from logging in, or if this causes your session to end abruptly. Include any policies for billing, scheduling, and cancellations of telehealth appointments. And finally, add a statement regarding the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act compliance, as well as the confidentiality of your encounter. You also may need to include specific provisions in your consent form if you're treating pediatric patients. For instance, Nebraska's Medicaid program has specific rules for children receiving behavioral health services through telehealth. Okay, let's review. When it comes to getting patient consent online, you need to check the requirements for your state and your payer. When getting written consent online, it's best to use an online form. Your consent form should include details on the patient's rights when they receive telehealth services, your complaint or grievance process, and the policies you have for billing, scheduling, and cancellations. Using an online form is the easiest way to get patient consent online for a telehealth visit. You can choose a provider that lets you integrate electronic signatures to make the process even faster, and stick to your state and payer guidelines to make sure you are in compliance. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Bye.